This pastor quickly found out that you cannot hide from the man upstairs and you cannot hide from the internet. The whole internet is talking about the Micah Miller case and for good reason. We all know that something is wrong here. So let's dive in. I am Sarah. I am your true crime best friend. I make content here and over on YouTube. So hit that plus. Micah Miller is a beautiful South Carolina mother who unalived April 27th in North Carolina. There is a lot to do with all of this and the story, so follow me here. All right, in 2017, Micah married John Paul Miller. John is a pastor at the Solid Rock Church in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Micah was an active member of the church as well as very family centered and a very Christian woman. According to The Sun, Micah was a very proud stepmom to John's five children. On the night of the 27th, Micah was in North Carolina at Lumber Park. I haven't really been able to find out why Micah was in North Carolina. We don't know if she lived there or if she was visiting. I haven't been able to find those details. But for whatever reason she was there, she unalived there due to a one-shot to the and um this just sparked a whole big thing now there had been trouble in micah's marriage um a big trouble and she filed for divorce only months earlier she actually got a no contact order april 15th just one month earlier on march 22nd micah posted some emotional facebook videos in this, she speaks about divorce and abuse. Micah was clearly calling for help, but it seems that she was calling for help from her husband, John. This is where the case goes crazy and where we were all introduced to it. Um, Micah was unalived, um, and the day after, John did a sermon at his church. He carried the church service on as normal. He was laughing and giving the sermon just like a normal person does. Then he asks everyone to stand and states that his wife was gone last night and she did it to herself. He also states when her funeral is going to be held. So he had already planned it. So then church is over, right? And odd things happen here. First, police didn't know the cause of what all happened. Um, they are still to this day investigating this. But he states that she had mental health issues and that she did it to herself. And this was all in the sermon. This service, as well as other things, <laughs> started this firestorm of all this stuff on the internet, right? But it keeps getting more and more bizarre, so just hang in with me. I know this is a long one, but it's worth it. John wrote Micah's obituary, um, and it did mention that she was a great stepmom and an amazing wife. But it speaks a lot about John himself, um, and not really about his wife, and things unrelated to John. I mean, she was a whole person here. Now, I will not say that unaliving oneself does not happen. We all know that it does and that it happens spur of the moment sometimes. Um, but this investigation is ongoing. We don't know. And the family is pleading, saying something is going on here. Um, one side of this is John. The other side of this is still what's going on, right? Micah's family states she would not do this to herself. I do think that John's behavior is definitely in the spotlight, and that is for good reason. Let's start looking into that. So, this is just the facts, okay? Um, Micah and John met while she was underage. She was a person going to the church. I'm not sure what that churchgoer, um, part of the congregation, whatever you want to say. But she was underage, grew up in the church, and people are saying that he groomed her. Now, that is not fact, but it does look suspicious, right? 
John has previous allegations from his previous wife of domestic violence, and Micah herself was in those videos saying there was abuse. Um, there was also these kind of creepy sermons he did like months before talking about his own wife, talking about how he went through her cell phone, talking about how she is this bad person pretty much. And that's not the only thing. John moved on quickly. Now, he is already dating a woman named Susie Skinner, allegedly. They, they're getting close. Another member of the church. So she's a member of the church. Now, let's talk about this rabbit hole because this is facts. Um, so Susie's first husband was paraplegic. He was in a wheelchair. He unalived by freak accident at the community pool. He allegedly got too close to the water in his wheelchair, fell in, and there was no one around to save him. But he had swam and gone into that pool every day for years. Like, he had gone there repeatedly, at least is what we know. Um, and guess who performed this man's memorial service? That's right, John Miller. It has not been 100% confirmed that Susie and John are dating, but they're getting mighty, mighty close, and it seems they've been close for a long time. I mean, Mike and John weren't officially divorced, um, but that's the least of his problems here. And honestly, like, people do this all the time. They move on quickly. But there's just a long list of fishy behavior on John's part. Now, I'm not going to talk about all of this stuff that's allegedly coming out in the last few days. And that is that Micah might have had a diary that makes a lot of very, very bad pictures of John. Um, there's a lot going on here. Um, now, I don't want to comment on that. I don't want to repeat that because I don't know that it is facts yet. There hasn't been like a news report of it. But it does seem like it's going to be substantiated. Let's just say that. Um, and there is some crazy, crazy claims about John. The next few days are going to be interesting, mark my words. So we all see that this person, this guy, is a, a living POS, right? But all of this stuff is circumstantial evidence. And in a court, that's not going to hold up. It might in the public opinion, and it trust me, it already has. But in court, we need to find some evidence here. So I'm hoping that that autopsy and all of that comes back and we can get some answers. But <laughs> the internet is not letting this one go. Trust me. Um, so <laughs> for me, let's get some evidence and let's go get this guy. Like, do I think he did it? I don't know. Show me the evidence. But either way, he is horrible. Horrible. Let's go get this guy. Justice for Micah Miller. Now you have the whole story. Well, most of it. What do you think? Please tell me in the comments because I am on the side of justice for Micah Miller. All the way.